Hi everyone, welcome to a godly home. I just received another Timu order and this is not sponsored. I have ordered from them four or five times. And what I love about it is if I get a product that is not as described, they just refund me immediately. So I feel like it's um, worth taking the chance. So I had been looking at they advertise these as jeans on their website for quite a while. And they were like, well, you know how their prices fluctuate. Or if you're not familiar with them, their prices go up and down by a few dollars all the time. So they were like, I want to say either 15 or 17. And I had them kind of setting in my card as a maybe. And then the other day they offered them to me through email at for $11.95 and I was like now is the time and my jeans are like three or four years old and there's no holes in them but they're just looking yucky you know like when I go to town so I like the elastic waist at this age it's more comfortable for me and I have that hernia so anyhow I loved the way these looked on the side and I loved this down here and they were offered in a straight leg which is my preferred type of cot and back pockets well I'll give you the down points first the back pockets are just for looks or maybe I can pick that open because it does look lined. No, they're just for looks. There's the inside. Okay, so if you need a back pocket, they're not really back pockets, but they do look better than just having nothing on the back. Side pockets. I have picked at this a little bit with a seam ripper. They're open here. They're open here. They're sewed up here. They are an actual pocket because there's the inside. And it's loose stitching. I don't know if you can see that. I can almost pull it open. So I'm just going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to open that pocket back up. Maybe in other countries they do that so people can't fill the pockets, you know, to steal when they're buying the pants I'm not sure but that's no big deal I sew and can alter enough to change that now what's really weird is these were advertised as jeans but they're not jeans they look like jeans and they might be what we would call in the US like pajama jeans okay see they're thinner they're stretchy they're like a woven t-shirt type material, but a thick t-shirt type material. And um, so I was like, I don't know, but I'm going to try them on for that price. I need pants. So I went in and I tried these on and I am not even kidding you guys. I have a hard time to find any pants that feel right on me. These pants feel amazing on me. And I don't mean amazing like sweatpants because they're baggy and saggy. I mean amazing like they fit my legs right. They fit um, around my waist right. Like no slippage, no humping of the fabric. The length was absolutely perfect. I'm a 32 inch leg and they were right exactly where you'd want them you know I don't like this high water pants thing that's going on now I don't like that look for myself they felt amazing I could bend I could uh, stretch upward they did not move no matter what I did they were in place and I think and so did my husband that they were way more flattering on me than any U.S. actual jeans now, I have no idea how these are going to wash, but I will follow up on this video and leave a comment 
next week after I wear them and wash them because I'm going to save them for when we go to town um, and let you know, did they hold up to the washer, to the dryer? Now, they're obviously not going to hold up to heavy-duty carpentry projects and that kind of stuff that I do, but I have these old jeans I can put on for that and just kind of save these ones for town. And I'm very excited about that because grocery shopping lately, every time I'm bending to the bottom shelf, my pants are slipping. So, shocked at what they actually were, but even more shocked with how well they fit. And they're going to be my new favorite pair of pants if they work right. Um, on this one, I ordered this for an upcoming five minute clean video. It's a silicone mold. And I actually had ordered one from Amazon and they sent me the wrong size. And this was like so cheap compared to Amazon. And feeling it, it's better quality too. I'm gonna use the other size Amazon sent me for chocolates and that will work fine. But this is for a cleaning product. Um, these, I will be showing these in an upcoming video. They're the, that you put over your shoes when you're cleaning. I have one of these from Timu already and I love it, like totally love it. And we'll be talking about more of that on five minute clean videos. Um, if you guys watch my videos a lot, you know, I'm getting very thin on the top of my head with my hair and then it grows in kind of patchy and I have all these flyaways and I am just so looking for any solution for that and I don't know if these will work well but they are the the headbands that gives you a little bit of coverage and I'm wondering if that wouldn't be better on the top of my head than all of those flyaways all the time in those bald spots um I've had that trouble with my hair since I got really sick with you know what that started in 2019 and um, I lost so much hair and I've struggled ever since with these bald spots. Of course, my my middle ageness probably doesn't help with that either. All right. And so nice neutral colors. I wanted to go neutral so that any of them that I grab is going to work for any day. Okay, then for the five minute clean, this is one of those pumice stones and the handle. This is, we've all bought these in actual towel form and these are so reusable. You know, that type of a, a towel, only this is on a roll. And what I'm going to do is I have some of those Actually, let me go get them right now. I have some of these that I use on like lunch boxes and stuff like that to wipe out. And these are getting very expensive. So I'm going to take the cardboard out of the center of this roll of these. And I'm going to put it in here when it's empty. And I'm going to make my own solution for one of the five clean videos, five minute clean videos. And what I like about these is these will even take a few washes on the washer. So I'll just wash them in with the cleaning rags and stuff and keep dropping them in here, even if they end up, you know, they'll be after they're used once, obviously, individual cloths. But um, that's the plan for that. And see, they rip off. This was so cheap. It was a dollar something. I can't remember. And, of course, everything with Timo's free shipping. Um so we'll see how that works out. We'll try that on one of the videos. And then for the different cleaning videos, I wanted some scents. And these are essential oils. And I can't see where it says on here which scent is which. But I could tell you one was grapefruit and one was lime. And these were very reasonably priced. I probably wouldn't try their essential oils for anything I was going to ingest, but for cleaning, why not? And then I have one plastic funnel I use in the kitchen 
like the other day I poured some used oil through the funnel into a bottle and it's so hard to get a plastic funnel clean. I hand wash, I don't have a dishwasher. And they had the stainless steel funnel set. Of course, I'm going to struggle with the bag forever. I can't even see where to open it. Oh, they had this stainless steel funnel set of all different sizes with a ring loop and the brushes to clean it. I can't remember. It was very little. And like the other day, I had this little 16 ounce soda bottle and this great big plastic funnel and a big heavy cast iron pan I was trying to pour the oil from. Of course, the first thing I did was bump the funnel and flip the whole thing over. I had oil all over the floor. And I like that these were tinier little sizes for things like that. Okay, that is my entire haul. I forgot to turn all my new lighting on in here. <laughs> I probably won't think of it for a while other than when I'm doing the lives. Okay, I'm going to lay this stuff out for a nice photo. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.